Uh, you would think that in this time and age, single parent families would be the norm, but no, mom is so controlling and we keep clashing when we are together. My life really sucks. School is just something that God created to torture teenagers. They keep saying mom made me in her lap and that's why I don't have a father. The sniggers, the laughing, the looks that they give me, ah. Uh, my life would be so much easier with dad around. Mom really should have stopped him. We were so happy then. Weekend dinners in the canopies, with the cityscape sprawled underneath us. I remember dad lifting me up in his arms and pointing out Pulau Ubin to me. I felt so safe then. It's been so long. Run, Sophia, you need to get away from here. Mom? Mom, where are you, Mom? Mom, what's happening? The golden box is in the hands of a friend. The golden box is in the hands of a friend. Mom slept. Sophia, what are you doing here? Your mom left ten minutes ago. I'm not looking for her. I had a weird dream last night. I heard a voice saying something about a golden box and to come here. Golden Box? How did you know about it? Whoa, this is so beautiful! Hands off me! Why are you arresting me? Hey, stop! Mom, where are you, Mom? Mom, what's happening? I need to go back! The story is about a young girl who accidentally creates a new universe in her mother's biopolis lab. So it's set in a futuristic Singapore. I was always interested in alternate universes and alternate worlds. And I was also interested in the stratification of Singapore society that I saw. One of my most enduring influences is Neil Gaiman's Sandman. It had a really big impact on my imagination and uh, my work as well. So here's a compendium of some of its images. One of the things that inspired the texture of the futuristic Singapore in the novel I think is uh, Sean Tan. He is a Malaysian-Australian writer and illustrator and he has these very fine technical drawings of uh, fantastical creatures and landscapes um, that also have mechanical aspects to them. One of the messages that I wanted this book to communicate is that adventure might just lurk around the corner from you uh, and that maybe you don't know everything about your society. 